So howdy, 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 it's time for another Feature Friday. So let's talk a little bit about creating and saving queries in the new Manage application. Okay, so here we go. We are gonna log into Application Suite. And then get ourselves right to the Manage application. Just log right into that. Creating and saving queries is pretty much the same no matter which application you're actually using. So I'm just going to use assets here. Open up the screen and I'm going to search for pumps. Okay, found a pump. And you'll notice that uh, here's my list. I have 22 different pumps. And if I scroll way over here to the right hand side, we will see that most are active, some are not. But I want to go ahead and actually narrow my query down here to those that are active and then rerun my query and now I have 18 of them and that's going to be the focus of my query. I'm looking for pumps that are active. So now we go over here next to the spyglass you've got the three dots and I would like to save this current query. I'm going to give it a name. I'm going to call this uh, active pumps and a good description, active pumps. And optionally, I can make it public or default so that when I come back into the application, it'll run the query. I'm just gonna make it public for now. So either one or both is fine. Click OK. Come up here to the top and I'm gonna clear the filter uh, from what I had just done. And I'm gonna refresh the screen so I have all 8,000 of my assets there. And so now if I come over here to available queries, I should find my active pumps query that I just saved. Click it, it runs it, and it returns those 18 records that I was looking for. If you want to manage or edit this query, come over here to the three dots again. This time go to view manage queries, open that up, and you'll find in here somewhere active pumps there at the very top and I can open that up and you notice I can change you know default or public again but if I like I can actually come in and change the clause here that's used to return my records to me. If I made any changes then I would just simply click OK and um, I'm back to where I was. And that's creating and saving queries. Thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.